Uh, David Briggs, first of all, welcome, welcome to Hove. Just uh, tell us a little bit about the move and, and how it came about in the winter. Um, yeah, I felt uh, last season, obviously, I started with Hampshire and second half of the year it sort of fizzled out a little bit. I wasn't, wasn't playing much 50 over cricket and four day cricket also. So I ended up obviously not, not playing a lot second half of the year and, and felt to move my career on, I probably I wanted to move. And um, yeah, lo looking at it now, I think it's a good decision. Um, with obviously a week left to the season, it's an exciting time. Um, must have been a tough call for you because you've been at Hampshire an awful long time. There are a lot of roots down there. Yeah, it was tough. Obviously, I've been at Hampshire a long time and ideally most people stay at one county, don't they? But for me, I wanted to improve and, and I need to play to improve. I believe I have to play. Um, and I felt that the opportunity there was getting smaller and smaller, really. Um, so, I, yeah, I felt that Sussex was a perfect fit, really. Well, why did you feel that the opportunities were becoming so limited at Hampshire? Um, I think with Liam, Liam Dawson obviously played and, and batted in the top five, so he solved sort of the balance in this, of the side a lot um, and also gave Hampshire the, the chance to play an extra seamer, which they'd, I most of the time wanted to do, which is, which is fair enough. And then obviously young Mason Crane come through as a leg spinner as a more attacking option, um, which again was, was fair enough by the coaches and... It was tough because I sort of understood that their decisions, um, but that also probably made my decision a little bit easier. And you say you felt you had to move on, so why Sussex? Um, I've always enjoyed coming here. I, I, th I think the boys are very good. Um, and I think there's a little opportunity for a spinner here. Um, the pitch obviously assists a bit, a bit more spin than what the Aegeus Bowl does. And hopefully, um, obviously we'll find out in the summer, but hopefully, um, I can obviously take enough wickets. And in terms of your role here, red ball, white ball, bit of both, how, how do you see things working out? Hopefully both. Um, obviously I've had more success with the white ball, but I, I believe I can still contribute quite a fair bit with the red ball and improve a lot as well. If I, if I play, I, I'm hoping I'll get better and better. Um, yeah, so hopefully all form. Of course, the white ball doesn't start until till May. There's several weeks before then. What, what, what can you do to force yourself into the championship side? Um, just, I suppose, training well and we've had warm-up games and stuff and making a good impression, really, and showing off what I can do and, and really try and, trying to improve. That's the key. If I can, if I can be consistent um, and do that job for the team, that's probably going to stand me in good stead um, anyway. And quite difficult, Danny, as well, because particularly early season, the wickets generally favour the seamers, so they, that, that can make it more difficult sometimes for a spin bowler. Yeah, definitely. I think, but there's, there's still, there is still a space. I think spinners can do a job on any wicket. Um, it doesn't have to spin, but you have to do a job for the team and, and the bowling unit at any given time. Um, yeah, and I think obviously with Hove, when we do get into June, July, August, it's when it does spin a bit more. So you, you're going to come into the game and you've got to be in rhythm and, and bowl good long spells to win games then. Uh, let's talk about your winter because you were away in Dubai with England. Just, just tell us a little about that. Uh, yeah, I was with the EPP in, in November and December. Um, yeah, it's basically a training camp. So, um, no, it was really good. I obviously I bowled a lot out in Dubai and, and got used to the conditions out there and, and just worked on sort of all-round game, really. Yeah, it was all white ball cricket. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was obviously good to get away during the winter and, and learn a few things and, and get some overs under the belt as well. And who were the coaches out there that were, that were supervising you? We had um, Andy Flowers, the head coach, and we had Dan Vittori for about two weeks with the spinners, which was, which was great, really, because obviously he's a world-class spinner, and to get to pick his brain and, um, and see how he goes about his business was, was ideal, really. Uh, talk about white ball cricket, a pretty exciting game yesterday over in India. What, where were you watching it, and what, what were your thoughts as the game unfolded? Yeah, I was at home watching it. Um, oh, it was obviously tough. England have had a great tournament, but you know you know how quickly a 2020 game can change and um, unfortunately for England that big over in the game was the last over of the game. It was and, 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 and as a cricketer and as a white ball, is that something you think you know, I, I want a piece of that, I want to be involved in that 2020 side? Yeah definitely, I think the way they're playing at the minute, the, the freedom the, the batters are showing and the skills they're trying, the bowlers are, are showing, everyone wants to be involved and, and also it makes you want to improve as well because you know if you're going to go and play you need to be on the top of your game and you need all the skill you can. Final question, you're down here at Hove, how have you settled in not to just a Hove but the surrounding area as well in Sussex? Uh, yeah it's been good, the family are down and we've been down a good couple of months now so it's, yeah it'd be nice once the, as the sun comes out and we um, and see Brighton and stuff but um, no it's been really good.